Well, I think I'm finally back on track. Enter the story of a yoga entrepreneur's quest to move from his job life into one of building a personal brand around yoga. Watch all the crushing failures, the uplifting successes, and the real-life moments that make up the yoga dream journey. It is week 93 of the yoga dream journey, and it looks like I'm actually back on track. I have even done my goals for the next three months. A lot of my goals have to do with website specific stuff, getting more people into the website, having more folks sign up for the free and the paid membership. Another big goal is really pushing forward and getting ahead of my content schedule. So I do my morning coffee flow on YouTube. I also do my three biggest mistakes. Those are two different segments that come out every single week. So I've been filming in advance to really have a backlog of that stuff. So I kind of prevent getting burnt out like I did before. And if I need to take a break, I totally can. But it's a double-edged sword, right? Because you have to work twice as hard, but don't get burnt out, but you can be ahead. So just trying to find that balance. I'll be moving into May soon, which means that's the fifth challenge that I'll be releasing on the website. And I've decided to do a comfort zone challenge, little things to help get you out of your comfort zone. So I'm really excited to be pushing forward into May with that challenge. Furthermore, I'm really trying to get ahead in terms of the challenges as well. So not just my YouTube content schedule, but also the web website content, da, 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 the website content schedule as well. So I can be a full month ahead of that. So if I ever want to take a break, you know, well, <laughs> I can. And overall, things are great. I just feel like I have more clarity now moving forward. I knew that taking a break was gonna be a good idea and I kind of forced myself. I kept saying, you know what? The longer you don't do anything is the longer later you'll be able to do more, if that makes sense. And in the last few days of relaxing and kind of doing nothing and pulling off, you know, uh, the gas a little bit, I was getting antsy, like, oh, I need to try to work more. And it's funny, because I found a few days where I would be like, okay, it's time to get back into it. And I could only focus for three hours before I was like, ah, no, well, I'm done, I can't do this. And that progressively went away, just taking more time off, you know, bit by bit, day by day. And uh, in the past few days, I've really been killing it. I've been able to actually focus for a solid eight or nine hours uh, in the first part of the day and get a ton of stuff done. I mean, like not a normal eight hour work day where you know you take lunch breaks and you talk with your friends and you're whatever, you know, like, no, I mean, I'm sitting at the computer, just like killing it, editing, getting a ton of stuff done and actually getting ahead of schedule. So yeah, I guess you could say I am moving back to my more ultra productive self. And with me being my ultra productive self, I will really, really try to do my best to put out one of these vlogs every single week because the yoga dream journey continues. I obviously am still working at my day job and still trying to build my business, but that's the journey, right? Like that's how the diamond is made. It's the pressure for both. So things are good. I'm stoked to keep moving. I love all of you. Stay tuned for the numbers. They're coming at you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.